and it's just another Timu Tuesday. You know what also makes it great being Timu Tuesday? It makes Tuesday an exciting day of the week because sometimes Tuesday is just Monday's ugly sister. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel and you haven't had a second to subscribe, I hope you hit that little red subscribe button over there while you're thinking about it. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. I always appreciate reading your comments and just getting to know each other a little bit more going back and forth between our comments and I, and I always appreciate it when you guys leave me a thumbs up as well so anyway today we are doing a little bit of a Timu haul a little bit of Amazon for some replacements that didn't quite work out for me from Timu so I'm excited to get into those items and I need some help on that of course because you know when it comes to like makeup skincare things like that Hashtag Nancy has no idea. But anyway, one of the Timu items I have here, I had ordered in September. I've had it for a while. I've been using it. I just haven't had a chance to show it on my channel. And then another one that I got in November that I haven't used yet. I just put it together over the weekend. So I'm excited to finally get that out of the box. Show you guys that as well. And um, yeah, so let's kind of get into it, shall we? So for this first item that I got from Timu in September... It's not heavy, it's just kind of bulky. It was for my planner, my sticker supplies, some coloring book supplies. So it all snaps together. You don't need any tools at all. It just all snaps together. It does have these little uh, roller balls at the end, these little wheels here. And they go really nice on hardwood floors, on uh, carpet. Not so much, but if you just kind of shove it along, you can kind of move it where you need it to go. So the bottom has this big car compartment right in here. It's ideal for holding my planners, um, some big pencil kits that I didn't get to move out yet. And um, in here, if you were using this in an office environment, this is like the perfect size to put in folders, things like that. I've been using these to hold my happy planner, those little sticker books that you have. So I've been using those on both sides and some coloring books in there as well. On the top, we've got those two little cup holders right there. So I bought some like wire mesh cups and that's perfect for holding some colored pencils, some uh, the markers, the Sharpie markers and things like that. And then you got those two other pockets in there that you can put some maybe smaller notepads in there. I've got my pencil sharper, 
pencil sharpener in there along with some white out and some sticky tape so I, that's what I've been using it for but anyway it's easy enough to put together I've seen this all over the price spectrum on Timu I kept going back and forth did I want it did I want it well when I saw it for nine dollars and thirty seven cents I said you know what I gotta do it so I bought this for nine dollars thirty seven cents it did have one price adjustment of a dollar six so my final cost on this was eight dollars thirty one cents again you don't need any tools it just all snaps together if I can put it together you know anybody can so I mean this may end up in my office for the file folders and things that I have to just try to keep track of stock orders that I put in. Of course, I just took that out, but I'm just going to snap back in and uh, different machines that I want to have close at hand so I can pull it from the machines that are shipping to make sure all the options and things are shipping with it. This other one that I got is another tear tray, and I was accidentally on Timo over the weekend and I saw this for like half price, so I may have to go back and get another one. But this is a three-tier tray. Again, you don't need any tools. It just all kind of snaps together. Again, it does have those little roller wheels on the bottom here. So I'm going to say that probably each tray here is maybe like an inch and a half deep. From here to here, it's like another eight inches. So there's plenty of room on those three trays to try to get some supplies in there for either my coloring books or my planners, sticker kits, things like that. So plenty of storage there. This one was $17.28, but you know, I think I saw one when I was at accidentally on Timu today for around $10. So I may end up getting another one because I just think it's going to be handy. Even if I'm just putting it here, like where I film on my YouTube, to just put supplies, things that I want to kind of take out and show you just to try to kind of keep that stuff a little bit more organized. Uh, again, so this one was a little bit more. It was $17.28. I did have a price adjustment of $1.84, so my final cost was $15.44. Again, you don't need any tools. Everything just kind of pops into place, and it's just easy enough to kind of store it and wheel it or shove it out of the way when you need it some more space. Alrighty, so Amazon. Well, back to Timu. Not Amazon yet. So um, I've seen a couple of people unbox this. I don't think I saw anybody review it yet, but it had really good reviews on Timu, so I thought, you know, I would give it a try. My nails, you've probably seen my nails are a hot mess. Yeah, I don't really take care of them. They're soft, they brittle. It's like you feel like it's hard and you go to put on a light switch and you tap the wall like this when you go to hit the socket and yeah it snaps um, this one I am waiting for it to grow out I don't know if you can see right there it's how far down this one bent back and so I'm just trying to keep it intact until it gets over there because I hate it when it breaks that low it just really really hurts but anyway so that's my trouble with my nails I've used like the gel strips in the past um, they just don't seem to stick to my nails that well within two or three days they're just kind of popping off I've used the kiss nails the press on nails um, I didn't have good luck with that and then I used the ones that you needed to put glue on under them and it just kind of ate my nail beds that glue so then I wasn't going to do anything but you know when I see other people doing videos on YouTube and they're showing things close up and modeling things like you know Carol Nero for you know deal things like this and it just looks so pretty when your nails are done so I thought well you know I'm going to give it a try again and you know and I probably wouldn't have thought of it except I think it was in my November my vinyl box hashtag Nancy would really like to PR a vinyl if you know anyone please let them know and uh, it had this OPI this glittery glittery nail polish it was red it was nice and sparkly and usually when I get nail polishes I just give them away anyway since I don't use them and I said you know this is so pretty Christmas is coming up it's gonna look so pretty on my videos and yeah I did not have luck with it within a couple of hours of putting it on it was like all kind of coming off the top of my nails it was coming off the sides and then of course I didn't use a top coat so then I bought some top coat and put that on there and it just didn't help at all it was not staying on my nails at all but you know then I've seen so many people that use the gel nail polish and uh, one of them of course is going to be Sue 
Superstar Sue, Reviews with Sue, and I know she gets at least two different gel polishes that I've seen her do PRs for, and I was looking at them the other day trying to look, well, do I want to try them, and then I was like, well, I don't want to put that expense into it, I don't, you know, because I've been thinking about it in the past, and then I thought, well, I don't really want to put that expense into it because then you got to put your hand under the lights and in between coats and I'm like who's got time to do that but then when I saw how nice that OP polish just looked for the first day that I put it on I said you know I gotta give it a try but I didn't want to put that expense out in the beginning so I've seen Sue unbox this on Timu and a couple of other people unbox it as well I haven't seen any reviews I threw the box out because I just thought it was going to be a sure hit with me so far it was it was not good for me but anyway so this is it's a 72 watt uv light it was 14 dollars and i think 37 cents it's got this little pink cushion on top and i thought this is going to be perfect it's got the stand right here so when i'm sitting there i've got a place to kind of rest my nails so i can really do a good job doing the polish and then when you're ready you just kind of push that and the whole hand fit under there you can feel the heat of the UV, and I thought this was going to be perfect, so I got that. Let me unplug it, and these little things just fold back into place, and then I thought, well, I'm just going to get some cheap nail polish from Timu just to try it out, so I got this little kit. This kit was $7.64, and I believe it came with six nail polishes and a top coat and a base coat. Um, it was seven dollars and sixty four cents. I got two price reductions of a dollar eighty seven so the final price on this was five dollars seventy seven cents Now this had good reviews too. The only bad reviews that I saw on these polishes was that there wasn't enough polish in here to be able to get two sets to do it twice and I'm like, well, maybe because these people have like fingernails that go out to here or something you know, and I just got these little stubby things, so I thought I would give it a try so course I didn't really know how what I was doing but I at first I didn't realize it came with the base and the top coat so I bought that separately but I thought well I got this kit so I got this base coat and I put it on and I just did one hand and I put it under the UV light and I hit the maximum which was 90 seconds and I said oh wow, 90 seconds isn't bad I was just doing it while watching YouTube videos and as if I had to well, my nails were wet on one hand. If I reach the end of somebody's video and I wanted to comment, I just, you know, just used, used my pecking method of typing with one hand to do that. And anyway, my 90 seconds was up, and I went to touch it. it was day was still tacky. It did not dry. It did not harden. So put it back in for another 90 seconds. Took it out. Went to another finger. No, nope, still tacky. Put it back in. That went on for about an hour. Never, never dried. So I thought, well, you know, maybe. I put it on too thick so because it wasn't dried I just kind of went I scrubbed it all off and I did the other nail so the other nails and I just put on as thin thin as I could get it same thing an hour later in out in out in out it was not drying so I thought well you know what I'm just going to try one of the nail polishes and I'll just do one coat maybe that'll help it cure yeah that did not work the nail polish was clumpy of course I bought a sparkly one like diamonds or whatever you know it's nice and sparkly it was clumpy I just did that one thin coat yeah that did not dry so about another hour later I'm like oh crap you know blah 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 so I said well, you know, maybe when I put the top coat on maybe the top coat will put it all to bed so top coat on only did it for like a half hour in out in out now 90 seconds at a time I said no it's not drying so I just kind of went washed it off and I said not working for me so I was just googling different things and of course when I went to take it off the top coat came off and I had only done the one nail with the top coat and the uh, polish and the polish came off but by then I think the base coat was starting to harden so I still had bits and pieces of the base coat on that so I had bare, bare nail and then where it had started to cure so it wasn't the best but anyway so I googled a few things and they mentioned about putting it on maybe you put it on too thick and they also talked about wattage and the one that I got from Timu was 72 watts so I went on Amazon and I found one that was like 220 watts and it was only a few dollars more so I thought you know what I'm going to get that so I thought well as long as I'm getting that I'll just try some different nail polishes because I just didn't like the clumpiness of that and again I would love to get 
uh, quality nail polish but I thought I'm just getting my feet wet and I just want to see how easy this process is and changing it things like this so on Amazon I did get this one and it's a Sun T6 this was $18.99 and it did have a 10% coupon when you used it right away and I had it within two days. I also got a set of nail polishes which was six neutral shades and pink just uh, just plain no sparkle no glitter and that was $9.99. So anyway so this was the box that it came in and this is what it looks like. You can put that down to hold it or if you're carrying it around you can go like this you've got different things up here that you can push whether you're doing like 10 seconds 30 seconds 60 and then it says 90 seconds which is a low heat mode but this one you can see there's lights on the top lights all the way around and once you plug it in as soon as you put your hand in there I think there's a sensor thing right here so when you put it on it comes on again your whole hand fits in there and you can just kind of feel the heat because you've got that light all the way around. So anyway, um, I didn't bother putting on another base coat because I still had bits and pieces. I probably should have, but I did not. So I just used one coat of the nail polish. And I bought this set here. It's a gel nail polish, polish set. And they have uh, tons of different colors. This was the Pink Nude Gel Nail Polish. Now one thing with the ones that reviews with Sue gets, this fast Sue, I like the ones that she gets because at the top of the cap you can see the color. So this, it's on the side what the color is, which is, you know, it's okay, but it's not good. And you can see that is what my nail polish looks. So it's pretty consistent with that. Again, I've got a crappy base coat on that wasn't smooth it's choppy in places I only did one thin coat I didn't bother with a second coat because I didn't know I was just trying the process to see but anyway so I've got one coat of this on and um, then I used this top coat and this I also got when I was getting the little package here from Timu because I didn't know that it came with it because you know I didn't read it well enough but this was the two pieces, the long lasting, it says diamond gel top coat and base coat set. So this was $7.19. I did get two price reductions that totaled $1.72. So I did get both of these for $5.47. So anyway, I did a thin coat of this. I put it in there. I didn't know how long. I just did the 90 seconds, the low heat, came out, touched it nice and dry nice and hard I used the top coat only and I just did one coat and then for 90 seconds took it out you could touch it it was dry perfect so I'm so glad that I decided to up it and get one that had a bigger wattage so now I'm just kind of this has been five days and again it does have that crappy bottom coat and it's just the one coat so you can see it's kind of maybe my nails are starting to grow a little bit on the bottom but the tops I'm not pulled back at all. They're nice and shiny. Had I had done another base coat, I think it would have looked a lot better. Had I done two coats, two coats of the color, I think that would look better. But five days, and this is what it looks like. So I'm really happy with that. Now, what I'm going to struggle with is I don't know how to take them off. I know. So I think I saw things that you kind of put on, and it makes it kind of evaporate and foam up and things. And then you take a scraper, and I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I want to do that. Or can I use regular nail polish remover? The only polish remover I have in the house right now is a soy one, which is kind of useless. Useless? Yeah, it just kind of makes an oily mess, and it takes forever to get the nail polish off. I've got those little things that you stick on, and you put cotton pads under it, and I'll do that with it, and it still takes forever to get, get it off. So how easy is it? to get these off do I need to get that special one that kind of foams things up and then scrape it off or will regular nail polish remover get it off let me know your thoughts on that so anyway that is it for my Timu Amazon type haul I'm really excited to be getting these carts kind of pushed out of the way and to be able to use them a little bit better and be able to store some products for me for my planner just make it easier to get to some things uh, the washi tapes and things like that and yes I'm excited to be using them and storing my coloring books so they don't get all ruined and I'm excited because you guys are here to share it all with me so anyway let me know your thoughts 
on this gel nail polish and the easiest way to take it off and um, yeah and I think there's probably going to be a big difference between a really a good name brand one as opposed to getting a set for you know a couple of dollars but anyway that's it I hope you guys go out have a fabulous fabulous week thanks so much for stopping in spending part of your day with me like I said I appreciate you guys more than you know so I hope everyone goes out has a great week take care everyone stay safe be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun. Love you guys so much. I think I need some tea and I will see you guys in our next video. Love you guys. Bye.